I'm going through some garter carriage motors this evening. Um, I've taken out some old ones. I've uh, desoldered some of the wires, the motor wires, and I'm about to put them on the new garter carriage motors. Now, the garter carriage motors that I have, they're from different manufacturers over the years, so there's quite a mixture of them. Now, some of the motors, the manufacturer has put the little red dot, which you can see on this one, there's a little circle. Can't really see the red, sort of there. Now, they've actually put the red on the incorrect side. So if you were to take the red wire and put it onto that garter carriage motor, it would turn in the incorrect direction, which would cause the garter carriage to jam up. So what I noticed is when I laid out these cables, you can actually see that the reds should be on the left hand side. So if you've got the pins, the little silver pins as you can see are facing up, the red should be on your left and the whites should be on your right. But if you look at this very end one on the right hand side, you'll notice that during manufacture, they've actually put this in the incorrect way. So my recommendation to you is that if you're changing to the new motor, you're going to desolder and solder your new wires on. Once you've soldered your new wires on, test it before putting it into the garter carriage. And the way you would test it is just have your motor on the table, plugging it into your board and switching it on. Now the motor itself needs to run in a clockwise direction. So you can actually see this, this um, little spline on the end over here. It needs to run clockwise. If it runs in the opposite direction, it tends to jam up the garter carriage motor and then you would have to disassemble to actually get it to go back on properly. The easiest way to determine, because they're running so fast, you can't actually see which way it's turning. So what I've done is I've actually used a little brush. So as the garter carriage motor is running, I take a brush and I just touch the brush. And when I do that, it'll actually immediately, you can feel it flicking over to the right hand side. Then I know that it's going in a clockwise direction. I found it quite difficult using a finger just to try and see which way it's going. But using a brush, just flicks it down. So just giving you a little bit of a warning when changing the garter carriage motors, make sure you checking to see which direction it's turning needs to turn in a clockwise direction then you know it's okay put it back into your garter carriage and you'll be fine don't take for granted that these little dots that you see are correct the other thing I've done is with these new garter carriage motors that I, that I have is I found that they were making quite a squealing noise. I've actually just taken a little bit of oil, just a little drop of oil, dropped a bit of oil at the top, and I mean just a little drop, turned it over, dropped a little, bo little bit of oil on the opposite side, and then again just ran the motor outside the garter carriage and I found very quickly the squealing and everything went away and it's running quite nicely. I just thought I'd share my experiences with you. So perhaps it will help someone if you get stuck. Thanks.